Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Worley, current Poet Laureate of Kentucky, and this is my backyard in Lexington. And I want to briefly acknowledge what a challenging, even surreal time this is. And it seems to me, in a time like this of voluntary isolation, poetry more than ever is a way to bind the community together. Which brings me to this poem, my newest, which I wrote 10 days ago. Our neighbor, Andrea, who in the past has brought us one of her special pecan peach pies, brings us three rolls of toilet paper. Oh, Andrea, you are a sweetheart. Just when we were thinking of rationing this precious commodity square by square for the duration, you leave us a Kroger bag with the good stuff, three-ply northern quilted. Not that we haven't loved your pies, but we've laid in a few Marie calendars, rhubarb and razzleberry, so are fine pie-wise. When we've eaten a slice of your neighborly pie, we've thought of you. Now, this gift TP will do you the favor of thinking about something else, a different kind of deep cleaning, perhaps, or we'll, we'll hum Les Bon Temps Roué, the good times we hope will be rolling out soon. The best I can do now is repay you with this poem, plying my trade as best I can. Not as valuable as high quality TP, to be sure, though I hope at least worth the paper it's printed on. The poem that I want to read is by one of my favorite Kentucky poets, Richard Taylor. And this poem was included in a quite wonderful anthology titled 25 Contemporary Poets, What Comes Down to Us, published by the University Press of Kentucky. This is Richard's poem, and this has to do with another kind of neighborhood, uh, a more rural neighborhood. Water hauling on Sunday morning. Pulling onto Coffee Tree Drive near the pumping station to draw my weekly load, I scan for residential deer. Spotting three in scruffy woods, a stone's throw off the hardtop. Tame, safe on posted ground, two do not bother to lift their stretched necks. Only one, an edgy doe, swivels her tapered head and stares, eyeing my credentials. Calmed, she turns back toward the browsers on legs as tense, as frail as wickets. I speak no language to tell her open season starts Saturday, no code to tap out muffled thunder that will thrum the hills. Instead, as she craned pipe spews white pillars downward into the tank, I watch the water rise and hear myself in tone above the shushing squirrel inside the void. Lie low next week, stay close. This Sunday ritual is my church. These deer, my stony habitat of hope. Right on.